Hi everyone, it's Kaylee Ann. Welcome back to my channel. So this is my big kahuna portion of my last Rose Girls RTS order. And I just filmed the RTS with just the mini melters because I got so many mini melter bags and then the big kahuna and I didn't want to put them together. It'd be too long. So I'm probably putting these videos up right around the same time. The mini melter video will go up right before, but probably within the same day, this one will be up. So you could watch them together if you'd like. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and jump right in. I didn't want to spoil anything by putting my Big Kahuna items up early while I was doing my intro. So they're all right next to me right here and I'll just pull them in. So I got some really, really fun stuff in here and I'm really excited to share them with you. And I love the Big Kahunas personally. I love surprises. I love trying things I haven't tried before or getting my hands on things that always sell out or that she hasn't poured in a while. So this is like a huge, I will always probably spend the money on the Big Kahuna for the sake of this. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in. I got three mini muffins, or three chunk muffins, and I got one scoopable from Kathy's Scoopable Tarts, and then the rest were the small melter bags. So the first thing I received is this Cucumber Swedish Dream Salt um, Bamboo Hemp Muffin and i will pull it out and show you i know that was really quick um this one is like the iconic bathroom scent that i've talked about in previous hauls when i get those scents that are just like bathroom straight bathroom to me and not in a bad way but just like this is what i think of when i think of i think when i was a kid it was just like going into like my aunt's bathrooms and my grandma's and stuff just those scents that were in there and this one almost has a soapy smell to me not in a bad way but there's no soap notes in here unless this swedish dream salt is a soap scent that i just am unaware of but it smells really good and i'm definitely excited to break that up and use it in my bathroom this will probably be one that i hold on to for when guests come over because it is just that classic like scent you would expect when you walk into a bathroom sometimes i've got some weird things going in there like bakery in the bathroom and i know a lot of people don't like that so I'll probably hold on to this and use it specifically when we have guests over. That one's really good. The next muffin that I got is Pink Sugar Beach Vacation and Boom Boom Type. I have Beach Vacation on its own. I think that one is Suntan Lotion and something else. Mmm, that's so good. What is that one? Suntan Lotion and Coconut maybe? That, that is the Beach Vacation? Anyways. Either way, it's really yummy and this is really adorable and this is very, very summery. This could also be another good one to hold on to for when guests come for the bathroom because that pink pink sugar always reminds me of a bathroom scent and then this one's just really mild and, and nice and coconutty. So that's that one. And then the last little muffin I got is probably my favorite. Okay, it's like tied for one other item in here for my favorite scent of the whole box. So this is Blackberry Slurp. This is Blackberry Cereal Killer Rice Krispie Treats and Sugar Milk. And her slurp is, I believe, just the Cereal Killer Rice Krispie Treats Sugar Milk. And so this just has the added Blackberry. And I think this one's so cute. I love purple and orange together. Those are like complementary colors and I love them together. And when I smell it in the bag, I pretty much just smell the Blackberry, but then when I pull it out and smell the top, I really get that cereal smell which is perfect because that means when I melt it, it's gonna blend together super nicely. And I don't, I've never tried Slurp on its own. I don't think I would love it because I don't personally love just plain cereal scents, but getting that blackberry in there is kind of like a fruity pebble scent, so it's really good. I'm gonna put these over here. Okay, next I got, I think I mentioned at the beginning, I got one Scoopable from the Scoopable Tart website. And this is made by Kathy, and Kathy is Jenny's mom, and she was the original, I believe Jenny's mom, she was the original owner of Rose Girl. So this is Lemon Biscotti Noel. This is Lemon Biscotti blended with Vanilla Bean Noel. I love anything lemon. When I first got into Vendor Wax, I got into lemon scents right off the bat because of this one scent I had from L3. It was like lemon curd and white elephant exchange and it was amazing and ever since then i've been hooked on lemon so this was perfect for me to get in here i love this all year round 
Um, this to me would be a great one if you need a break from the heavy bakery fall Christmas wintery scents. This would be perfect, but then also just perfect for the summer and spring. So I'm really excited to have that. Okay, next we're gonna get into all of the little mini melter. They're not the small melter bags. They're not the size of the mini melters, but they're small. So some of these I got were repeats from my last big kahuna. Some of them are scents that I already have in a mini melter bag and then some are new to me. So really excited about the variety. I think I'm gonna start off with the ones I know I have in mini melters already because I've probably already hauled those. I think there's three, I think. I don't wanna miss any, but I think there's three that I already have in mini melters. Um, so I've already hauled them, so I'll go ahead and share those with you hopefully quickly, but you know how I am. I'm not usually quick about anything. So this is Hot Sunday. This is mint chocolate chip and vanilla ice cream, and I love anything vanilla ice cream, and this is perfect to me. This is like the perfect mint chocolate chip ice cream scent, and I will definitely be melting this on a really hot day coming up soon. I probably will pull from the mini melter I have because it's been curing a little longer, but I love this. So super excited to have more of that. Then I have Angels Among Us, which is strawberry shortcake, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and saltwater taffy. And I just got this in the RTS actually. This was one I was super excited about because I had heard so much about it. And if you watched my other video with my RTS mini melters, you already heard this whole speech, but I had heard so much about it. I had heard it was so good. I kept reading about it on the Facebook group and I could never get my hands on it. And I think now what has happened is everyone has kind of gotten their little stash of it and they don't really need more right now. And so it did stay on the website for a little bit during the RTS. So I was able to grab a mini melter bag and then I got this. So I'm excited about it because I love it. This is a really good scent. I'll probably just throw these in with my, in my mini melter bag and combine, but I really like this scent. Anything strawberry to me is just good. So love that and then the last one that I already have in a mini melter is this and I don't know how I feel about it so this is Bayside Tigers this was part of her 90s release and this is a Palo Santo marshmallow fireside and vanilla lace and let me cut for a story time really quick so I have this in the mini melter when I got it in the mini melter and I smelled it I really liked it thought it was gonna be fantastic then, then this morning, <laughs> I melted this. And this is Beach Bonfire, which also has Marshmallow Fireside and Palo Santo in it. And it gave me the biggest headache. And now I don't like it. So not only do I have this Beach Bonfire to get through, but I also have the mini melter that I have of this Bayside Tigers. And now I have this. And I think the problem is, is the Marshmallow Fireside and the Palo Santo together. I like Palo Santo, but I, and I like Marshmallow Fireside. I don't like them together apparently. And I think that's the problem. So I think what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to be participating in a round robin here soon. And if this is a scent that I think someone else would like, I'm gonna just throw it in there because it's not a big commitment. It's not a lot, but I already have so much of it and so much in this scent family that I'm gonna have to get through because I also just got a coffee by the campfire which has similar scent vibes. So I just, I can't, I can't hold on to this. Um, and if I really, really end up not liking the scent, I will put the big mini melter in a de-stash because yeah. That makes me sad though because on cold I like it, but now I'm having that like scent like where I smell it and I almost get a headache even on cold because of my experience this morning with the same scent family. So there's that, really sad. <laughs> so now I'm gonna jump into, I think there's three, let me double check. I wanna say there's three that are repeats from my last Big Kahuna. Oh, actually wait, here's one more. This is um, Windmill Sugar Cookie Dough. I also have this in a mini melter and this is a blender for me. So it's good. It's just, I wouldn't really, it's very heavy on like an almondy 
scent or like a pistachio scent. And so it's kind of leaning a little bit cherry. So for me, it's a blender scent. I'm just gonna put these in my mini melter bag and just put it in. I have a whole like little tub of Rose Girls blenders and I'm gonna put it with that. I think that this scent would be really good with raspberry sauce or fresh picked strawberries um, or like a baked zucchini bread, I think it would be good with. So it's great for a blender, not something I would melt on its own. Okay, now we'll jump into the ones that were repeats from my last Big Kahuna. And I think there's three of them. So that's not bad. Yeah, I think there's three. So we'll start with this one. This one is Just Another Day in Paradise. This is Ocean, Bamboo, Hemp, and Bergamot. This is currently in my melting basket for this week to be put in the bathroom. And I like it, it's okay, but um, I wouldn't purchase a whole mini melter of it. It's just very, uh, it's very masculine and cologne -y, but not in the way I usually like. So it's okay. Um, I'll probably get through the little one I have this week, same size. And then that way I'll only have those three little cubes to work through, which isn't bad at all. I can, I can take care of that in the bathroom, no problem. Okay, the next one I have that's a repeat from my last Big Kahuna is Lemon Cotton Candy Ice Cream Cake. This is really good. I actually melted this yesterday. In my last Big Kahuna, I got it in one of these bags, so it had the four little melters in it. So this time it's in a little bit of a bigger bag, and which is, this is really good for me. So um, I love ice cream scents, I love lemon scents, and so this is perfect for me. I definitely will melt this, probably will melt it soon, um, because it's a really nice summery scent, and I really like it, so no complaints there. And then the last one that I have that is a repeat from my last Big Kahuna is um, Jumping on Green Apple Clouds. And to be honest, I don't know how I feel about this one. Like, I think on warm it'll be fine. I might try to mix it with something. So if you've ever had this scent and you've mixed it with something, let me know what has worked for you. Her Jumping on Clouds is um, a scent of its own, but I don't know the scent notes. And so this is that plus Green Apple. It's good. It's pretty heavy on the green apple. Um, so we'll see. I'll melt it for sure. I don't think, again, I don't think it'll be an offensive scent. I, but I, I just don't know that it'll be my favorite. Okay. And then the last three, six, seven, eight are new to me scents. Or scents new to me. And there's a couple that I wanted to grab before that I just didn't. So I'm glad I have them. So the first one is raspberry strawberry cheesecake. And... I like anything strawberry. Raspberry is pretty good for me too. Like I like berry scents and this is good. I smell the cheesecake and I smell berry. I don't particularly pick out strawberry or raspberry. I just have a, it smells like a berry cheesecake scent, which is great. And actually this might be good melted with <clears throat> this windmill sugar cookie dough one. So I might have to try those together. Next, so this is a contender for my top scent of the box. This is one I've been wanting to try and haven't been able to. So this is ooey gooey marshmallow iced coffee. This is ooey gooey caramel marshmallows and iced absolute coffee. And this one is an absolute coffee scent I can get behind. Um, a lot of the times the absolute coffees can be a little bit skunky for me, but this one, because of the ooey gooey caramel and the sweetness of that and the marshmallows, balances it out so well and it's so good, it almost smells like her espresso scents. I love this one, and I will definitely pick this one up again when I can, if I can ever get my hands on it. I think other people must like it too, because I always have a hard time grabbing it. So really excited to have gotten that. Another one that I'm really excited to be able to try is this Girl Talk. This was from her 90s release, and this is Blonde Moment and um, Tangerine Gelato. And I had this in my cart during that RTS, then took it out, then added it again, then took it out and ultimately ended up eliminating it because Blonde Moment can be iffy for me. But this one is balanced really nice with that tangerine gelato. And I love it, I love it. I'm really glad I got this. And now I'm kind of wishing I would have picked it up in that RTS um, because there's nothing wrong with this. This is really yummy, really fruity, really summery, really bright, very excited to have this. So I recommend that scent if it ever comes back. And then, let's see, next I have, oh, I had eight left. I had one little hiding. So I guess I'll go to this one next. So this one was hiding for me. 
So this is one of the good ones. Funny story about this one is, is this named after a lyric from, or a song title, like a country song? Because when I first got into Vendor Wax and when I first checked out Rose Girl's web website, she actually had this available in the mini melter bag and I wanted to get it because of the title. But then when I read the send description and read Stainless Seal, I was nervous because I didn't know what that meant. I was new to Vendor Wax, I had no idea at what that really meant so I passed it up but since I've learned a little bit about stainless steel and those kinds of scents and it's just a very masculine cologne scent and so it's funny that I get this because I really wanted to try it because of the name but was worried about the scent notes and now that I got it I would totally buy this in a mini melter this is like really really nice and cologne but not too much perfect bathroom scent so I would pick that one up if I were to see it again Okay, next is 124 Conch Street, Apartment B. And if I'm correct, this is like SpongeBob's address. Did I hear that somewhere? Um, this I don't like. So um, I'll read the set notes and you can see if you can figure out why I don't like it. It is a Blue Hawaiian, Bora Bora, and Gilligan's Brew. If you said I don't like it because of the pineapple, you were right. Ha uh, Blue Hawaiian and Bora Bora, I believe both have pineapple smells and I don't like pineapple. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard to because I have some scents with pineapple in them. I don't like this at all. It is very strong in the pineapple scent that I dislike. And I will be passing this one right on. Don't know who yet, but it's gonna be going by my because I don't think I'm going to like it on warm at all. So there's that. <laughs> The next one is Black Cherry Blue Raspberry Slushy. This is another one that I'm like, eh, about. Black Cherry for me is cough syrupy, and so, and it's also very strong. I think this one will be okay. I don't think it'll be super offensive because it does have the Blue Raspberry Slushy in it. So I don't think I'll be super offended by it when I melt it. And thankfully, it's also not a huge commitment because it's just in this little bag. So I'll probably pull this in one day melt it for a few hours, get some use out of it, and be done with it. Um, next is pistachio. And I, it, pistachio is another hit and miss for me because it comes off cherry. And I've noticed that Rose Girl's almond and pistachio scents really do come off quite cherry. However, unlike black cherry, regular cherry for me does not come off cough syrupy. It just is cherry-y. And I think the problem is when I'm going to smell almond or pistachio, I don't expect the cherry scent. So it throws me off. It's not necessarily that it's bad. I'm just thrown off, even though I know those scents can lean that way. This is very cherry-y. However, I'm going to melt it because I think or from what I've heard, on warm, you don't get that as much. So, and I love pistachio things. Like, I would love to get my hands on her regular vanilla ice cream scent and then blend this with it because pistachio ice cream is like my favorite thing ever. And the more I smell this, the more I can get that actual pistachio scent. So I am excited to try that. Um, I just, like, upon first sniff, I was a little eh, uneasy about it. But now the more I smell it, the more I'm like, okay, that's actually probably gonna be really good. <laughs> and then the next one I have is Starfruit Honeydew Coconut Freeze. I've recently learned that I love honeydew scents. I got the Alice in Wonderland scent, which is honeydew and cotton candy frosting, and it's amazing. And yeah, this is really good too. <laughs> it's very strong, but it's very good. I don't know what starfruit is, <laughs> that's super strong. I don't know what starfruit is supposed to smell like, but I really get the honeydew. Um, let's see, coconut freeze. Maybe. I might get a little bit of coconut, but I really get that honeydew. It's so strong, but it's really good. So I'm excited to try that one. I have a feeling that's one I could totally get in a mini melter and be completely satisfied with. And then last but not least, I got this Smell You Later. It's Satsuma Coastal Kale Raindrops and Summer Breeze. Um, so per Speechless, I believe is Satsuma Coastal Kale and Raindrops. I've never tried Speechless before, but I know it's a super popular blend. So this one has the added Summer Breeze and it comes off very laundry-y, but also really good. So this makes me wanna try Speechless now because I really like this one. 
And I normally don't like laundry scents. Um, I think this week in my melting basket, I have her, yeah, I've got this one in there, this French, uh, French lavender clothes on the line. This is better to me. So it has the laundry scent because her clothes on the line actually, I think is pretty good. And this is just even just like a little bit better. So I don't know why I'm getting laundry. I don't know if summer breeze is a laundry scent. Maybe I just don't know that. Um, but also it's called smell you later. So that makes me think like you're clean now, smell you later. I don't know. Um, I think this was part of her 90s release as well. And so I'm really excited to give that one a try because I think I'm gonna really like that in the bedroom. And so I would buy that one again and I really wanna try Speechless now because I think I could potentially really like it since I really like Satsuma and then I really like this. So excited to try it. Um, so that is everything from this Big Kahuna. This was a pretty good Big Kahuna. I am satisfied with it. It was $80 and I always think they're a little bit overpriced, but for me, it's about the mystery and the excitement of opening it up and seeing what you get. Um, it was somewhat disappointing to see some overlapping items from my last Big Kahuna, which was a few months ago to this one, but I know that can happen and I know that's the risk you take when you do something like this, like a mystery box or a Big Kahuna. Um, so I was a little bit disappointing, but like not too upset about it. Definitely would get another big kahuna. I am one of those people who loves the mystery. I'm very open to scents and I like having small quantities of scents because I like to try so many different things all the time that I'm actually more of a mystery box type person over a loaf person. I don't really purchase loaves because I, that's a huge commitment for me. And if I don't like it, then I have this big loaf or if I do like it, it's just a lot to get through. So I really enjoy things like this and you will probably see another big kahuna from me next time she does one because I always like to try and grab one. Super fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed and you should be seeing my empties coming up and my next melting basket will be for not next week. So not the week of the 11th through the 17th because I'll be out of town, but it would be that, that next week. So the 18th through the 24th, I think it is. Um, I'll do a melting basket for that one and upload that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I love to share wax videos. I'm trying to come up with some new ideas for videos to share because I like to show, I want to show more of like what I'm melting as I'm melting it. So I was actually thinking of like a follow me around for a day to see what I'm melting kind of video. So I might give that a try. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Um, because even though I do the melting baskets, Sometimes I switch things up. Sometimes it's also just fun to see like, hey, you saw the basket, now here's how I'm using it or what I'm doing. So I think that would be fun. I also would love to do a chop and chat. I just need to figure out a setup for it. Um, I might have to actually get a tripod for my phone and film on there because this setup I don't think would quite work. It would, but like I would have to reach around my iPad and I just think that would be a pain. So I would like to give that a try. But other than that, um, you'll be seeing what you see, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye!